wavy babies it's ocean sims and welcome back to another video i am doing something a little different today well not something really different but just bringing it back i used to do these little let's play the sims 4 videos where i just played sims with you or you play sims with me <laughs> and you know it could be a random household an ea pre-made just anything and right now i'm in little simsy save because i just have a like a urge or an itch to play in her save and i just realized the freaking chimney's not showing on this beautiful scene that i have going on here you know when you try to do intros this is what i meant to do but um <laughs> now that that's ruined uh but yeah i wanted to play inside of another save again and just chit chat hang out and just play you know uh, sometimes a lot of people i realize don't like a lot of the storyline stuff sometimes you just don't have time to be so invested in that type of thing which i completely understand by the way um but you know what better way to kind of just chill and kick it than just playing some good old sims so right now i just for some reason was in Recently pulled to one of the sims and her save file or one family it's called the giordano wait keep looking for it keep looking for it i'm talking right now don't interrupt me when i'm talking so i'm playing um oh look at that i love when this thing goes by like i really really do so this is the giordano hopefully i'm saying that right giordano 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 I'm with the Giordano family. I feel like I said Giordano like so many times. Oh my gosh. I feel like my tongue is getting twisted because I want to say DiGiorno so bad, but it's Giordano, right? Please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, and I'm also filming this quite early and I don't really want a lot of, you know, I don't want my kiddos to wake up because I'm literally like up at six in the morning filming this playing Sims. Wow. I'll put their story up, but apparently um, this is the owner of the Shrieking Llama Diner, which I think it's it's kind of interesting. If you've never owned a, a restaurant in the game before, you could jump into a family and then already put, be, you know, be placed into that little little thing. So we're definitely going to visit that because it is not doing that well. But I'm just going to go over their family really quick and why i was so drawn to just play with them and see what they're about you know sometimes i like going in between households you know stuff like that i'm so mad she doesn't have a great cooking skill that's why the shrieking llama diner isn't that great does he have a cooking skill what's his cooking skill oh he okay he's the cooker so art is the cooker so let me have him i shouldn't uh, well let's just she'll still make that anyways um so this lovely little lady right here, Elise Giordano, is the mother, wife and mother of the family. And I love her. You can tell she cares about the household. She's a wonderful mother. And um, she's a foodie. She's cheerful. She has all the great, the great traits that you want to place on a sim. And I think that's very interesting. I think she's very interesting to play with. She's an adult. And so she has a long way to go before she hits an elder. But I just love her. She's she's a cutie. She just seems like that typical loving mother. You know, they have four children together. And I think that's beautiful because they must, you know, pride themselves on having a big family and stuff. And I love the way Lil Simsy made their noses and stuff. I didn't even, like, change anything about these Sims. They're just exactly how Lil Simsy made them. Who's calling me? Hack attack. We found Brent trying to hack into the school computers today. We're not sure what his plan was, but we stopped him before he had a chance to do anything serious stuff please punish him yes punish him get him out of here <laughs> um and that's the perfect response for art to be honest this is art giordano and i love it because of course he has some gray hair he's a bookworm a genius and a geek and it's so funny because he has cooking skill level nine right meanwhile his wife has who is calling Oh my gosh, a teacher caught Betsy looking at another student's test. What is up with my children today? I'm sure it was a mistake. Girl, you know. Come on. Not cool. Anyways, we're going to ignore their parenting skills right now because obviously they don't have a really high parenting skill. But that's all right. Things take time. But look at her. Was she about to read him a book? She is so sweet. This is her youngest, Vincent. Oh my gosh, if I get one more thing, can I just explain? Friend's birthday. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party. Oh, let it go. This is the question that asks you if, you know, you should make a big deal about not being invited to a birthday party, but really you were invited, but it was just under a stale bag of pretzels. So always choose let it go. Let it go. So, um, yeah, uh, what was I saying before my kids just 
ransacked my game. Uh, no, uh, what happened? I think it's hilarious because what's her name again? Elise Giordano has the food aspiration for the master. She wants to be a master chef. She's a foodie. She's cheerful. All of that good stuff. But she has a level one cooking skill. So she's <laughs> mac and cheese until she gets up there, you know. But someone like Art Giordano, I think he just got his cooking skills passed down from his family. Maybe he has a cooking skill level nine, but he has no interest in cooking and all that. He is a computer whiz and oh, he's a corporal. Okay. I didn't know that either. So he works as a, he wants to be a detective or something. Okay. And then who is calling? I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. Want to go check it out? No, thanks. But yeah. And he has no cooking once or whatever, but you know, he has the, the biggest cooking skills. So I love it because I feel like he probably would be teaching her how to cook and things like that. I think that's funny. Let's have a make a flirtatious joke like, oh, baby, you know, you, you asked me if I wanted breakfast, but you only made fruit salad. Who's that going to feed? You know, I'm a, I need some more food than that. Fruit salad for breakfast. I'm not on no diet. So he's going to go and make some Capri salad for breakfast, even though that's not really like a breakfast food. But, you know, uh, is Giordano like an um, Italian name or someone educate me? So I really love this name and I'm like, oh, I love their family and I love the way they look. And the other kids are at school, so let me put the focus on Vincent. Vincent is a cutie boy. Look at him. He's so cute. I love his tan skin and his little brown hair. He's adorable. I love it because Art here is, you know, he's he's in an adult stage too, but he has gray hair and I love that. I love that um little Simsy added that part of aging. Sometimes people don't like to add like, you know, gray hair and things like that when you're an adult and stuff, but I have gray hair. I do and I'm only 25 I literally have three pieces of gray hair I can count them for you so I love that you know they're getting older but they have four beautiful children and Vincent is the baby and I wonder if they're gonna have any more because they don't turn into elders until how long how long do they have so normally they'll like show you if it rolls up here oh well but ooh, so Miss Elise Giordano is feeling a little flirty. It will go flirt with your man. Go be enticing, honey. Go um, blow him a kiss. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And is he? Oh, he's feeling playful. I feel like that as a couple, they probably um, you know, they they have these personalities with them. I don't know. I just feel like they had some depth, and I really wanted to play with them because I love their look. They look like they're in love with each other, and they accept each other for all that they have. Like you know just all that they that they are and they're they're business partners and they just i don't know i just i really really love her does she have a job oh she's a detective so she's a detective and he's a corporal so that means they work in like the same type of uh, genre genre same type of field but they both own the shrieking llama diner and i feel like honestly not being able to commit yourself fully to the diner must be stressful He's like, no, this is a breakfast, baby. Capri salad. Mm -hmm. Like, he's proud of that. He's like, yeah, come on, come have some. And let's let baby have some, too. And do we have a potty for him? Also, shout out to Lil Simsy. All of these homes have personality, for the most part, from what I've seen. And I love the Giordano's home so much. I love the use of this, you know, the wood paneling type of um wallpaper i love when simmers use this in households because i grew up in a house that had this kind of wallpaper not wallpaper but like the paint the little wood paneling on the bottom like i literally grew up in a house that was just like this and this was wallpaper so i, I just really love it it makes it feel very like nostalgic old ish and then i love the use of this like this doesn't even match but it just it does kind of but doesn't and i like that a lot and then the dark counters which normally i hate dark counters i'm like a minimalistic all white lines nice and bright colors but i love the use of this it just it doesn't make everything i don't know just maybe the blue walls make it look a little brighter it, i love it like it's growing on me so much and then we have this little entryway i love this house because when you walk in, you have the little foyer or whatever and then you go into the dining room which is an open layout into the kitchen and then our living area is just so oh god like i love this place so much i love our living area look at this so much seating for guests and 
Oh, I've been like really intrigued by the architecture of things lately. Just like I just oh my gosh, because I can't build anything like this right now. So I just look around. And I say like, dang, how did they do this? What could I do to do like could I possibly recreate something like this? Look at this backyard. Like, oh my gosh, I have to discipline him. I love the columns that she used. Look at all of this. It's such a nice house. Like I can't <laughs> I can't say it enough. You have your pool right here and your grill. Like this looks amazing. And I wish these were really like lawn chairs because that would be a or lounge chairs because that would be amazing. Like so amazing. But she basically put the little ottoman in front of the other chair and made it look like one but i wish it was real so bad and honestly let's see here oh my god he is making a mess he said oh one mess wasn't enough okay so we are going to parent calm they're pretty calm with him um art is the only one that i think probably gets a little bit rowdy he's probably like hey don't do that you know he's gonna straight yell at you You're not trying to hurt your feelings or anything he's just gonna you know just to snap you out of it like hey don't do that but um, I think mommy's going to be the one to catch it this time. Anger management. Sometimes I get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even <laughs> do workout? Is this is he asking Art? I feel like Art would be like, why don't you work out, blow some steam, you know? Oh, yeah, he did. Art advised that. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew Art would probably be like, just blow some steam. You want to go to the gym? So maybe he could go to the gym with his son. Maybe they could hang out. But we do need to visit that restaurant, though. Like, can we visit the restaurant? I want to visit the restaurant first. And so this is Mr. Brent Giordano. What kind of personality does he have? Oh, he's a snob and he's business savvy, but he has the nerve and audacity to be lazy. Nah, honey, it'll work like that. You want to be business snappy? Business snappy. You want to be business business savvy and own a mansion, but you're lazy no 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 that's not gonna work out so i can tell he needs some work and personality wise he needs some work like he really does I'm like what the world <laughs> and paxton who couldn't wait to go to the pool when he came home paxton giordano he is a bookworm Ooh, i like that look he's sitting next to his dad too and he's like hey pops you know i want to go to the um i'm gonna go into the pool right here <laughs> he is so cute i love him with his dark black hair so i'm assuming oh yeah so art has the black hair and the family probably and um paxton probably gets that from his father which i love it so much he's looking like a little a little alexander goth twin you know Let's see Betsy. What's Betsy doing? Betsy looks so sweet. Oh, she's creative. I love that mama. Yeah, she's creative. She looks so cute with these pigtails. I didn't know these pigtails existed in the game. They have no CC on whatsoever. So I feel like, wow, I didn't even know that. I'm stupidly. Well, who's orange juice? I don't know, but we're going to drink it. You guys, we got some Capri salad here if you want some. Let's have her call everyone. No, we're not going to call everyone to meal. If, if they want to have it, they'll have it. But let's have everyone do their homework before anything. And can we just have the parents go to the restaurant right now? Yeah, let's go here to the restaurant and see what's see what's popping with the restaurant. This is what I love about going into a new household really quick. And why is my game freezing? I'm going to get my get a sip of coffee. Hold on. I have no coffee left. Oh, gosh. I literally like brewed a cup this morning. It was like six in the morning when my husband woke up and time went forward today so technically it's it was like five but he's normally used to waking up super early anyways because he goes to work super 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 early um but i woke up with him and i feel so refreshed i'm so glad that i did because i love 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 um the fact that i just feel so energized right now and oh my god <laughs> businesses we are struggling struggling maybe we can open up the restaurant and make a couple of coins can we do that can we hire anybody okay we don't have any chefs no wonder can i be the chef what the heck manuel roland dylan sigworth um <laughs> no nah, you strange stranger things margie crane um can i be the chef could you like be the chef at your own restaurant oh my gosh i zoe patel is my current host i love that i love that um who's the waiter we need a waiter we need a waiter i really love vincent slater or margie crane 
Riches go with Vincent Slater. I like that he's got some charisma skill going on. He looks pretty cool, so let's just hire him. Who can be a chef? Kathy Kim. I don't know who that is. Carly Key. You want to be a chef here? Um, Manuel Roland. I don't want to interfere with some of these people's lives, though. Ooh, look at Manuel. He has a cooking skill level three. Oh, but Margie Crane is cooking skill is okay i'm totally gonna hire margie i don't know what she's got going on but um yes so let's us uh, restaurant settings what are our settings okay oh i like this okay um uh, -na -na -na. okay let's just open it let's oh no 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 i didn't want to close it open it art has hired a new chef okay great this is awesome Oh, look at him. Okay, so what we want to do, manage Vincent. Ch pay for training. Yeah. Let's praise him for coming in here and just getting started and trying to do things. And let's also pay for his training. We have enough money. That's one thing we're not struggling with. So we need to get the Shrieking Llama Diner up to par. Hey, man, I want to pay you for some, tr pay for some extra training for you. He looks so good in this outfit. I love that so much. I love the style of this. Oh, there's a downstairs. Ooh, look at the downstairs to our Shrieking Llama Diner. We have bathrooms. We got little fun activities for people to do. This is awesome. Why don't we have more people? Look at Zoe. I love that Zoe has so much personality. This is the perfect job for her. I love it. Love it so much. Look at everyone doing their work. This is fun. I haven't played in a restaurant since I played with Glitches. Um, Arlo from my Glitch series, his mom. I haven't, literally haven't played, paid Play, paid, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> haven't played with restaurants since then oh my god i'm so weird um request cooking speed um chop chop crawl first of all get out the kitchen um let's go ahead and give her some brief training too i want everyone trained up first and foremost i really do because i want my restaurant to, to get up here i really really do so after work i want everyone in training stat stat Okay, so we have some people sitting down here, um, and this guy, Dean Gilmore. Uh, let's check. Oh, let's welcome him here. Hi. I want to welcome you guys to the relaunch of the Shrieking Llama Diner. Thank you so much. You know, oh, so what do they want? I wish this place had more friendly service. <gasps> no. Who's being mean to my... Come on, come on, prioritize. Welcome. Let's welcome. Worry about the training leader. Hi, I'm so sorry about this service here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hi, I just want to say thank you for coming here. Welcome to my restaurant. I'm going to prioritize your food. All this attention from the owner is making me feel real special. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, Gilmore Family Vlogs. Adriana Gilmore from Gilmore Family Vlogs is here. We need to buckle down. Buckle down, get up there. Okay, so let's prioritize their food. You know, they just came in here. There, there's some big people in here. So, okay, let's come over to this table and say, hey, buddy, welcome to the, um, you know, welcome to the Shrieking Llama, where, you know, we don't really have Shrieking Llamas, but uh, <laughs> it sounded cool. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, he's bored. You can't be bored while you're working here, Art. Like, you can't. Like, what are you doing? Welcome to the restaurant. Thank you so much, guys, for coming here. What does he think? Yes, that's good. What? She needs more training. Girl, what? You have cooking level four. What in the world, girl? Well, we're, we're, she has received some training. So, okay. Look, I'm just going to praise her and say, you know what? You're doing a good job. I know you can't cook everything on the menu, but, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there in time. Oh, I love this. Look at this. This is so cute. She's like, thank you so much. I promise I'll do better. Wonderful. I try to be a model employee, and it looks like my effort is paying off. Yes, it is, sis. You're doing amazing. Keep going. You know, let's get some music up in here. Uh, turn on some. What could we turn? Strange tunes. Strange tunes. Singer songwriter. I think that'd be nice. Good job being a waiter, Mr. Slater. He's seriously doing good. I saw him, you know, refilling drinks or whatever, I think. Uh, let's, is everyone sitting down? Um, can we go ahead and check on the table right now? I want four stars. I don't want three. 
Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Have a great evening here. Thank you for coming to the Shriek and Lama Diner for the relaunch. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. Oh, gosh. Oh, good job. Okay, you know what? I need to praise Mr. Slater here. He's doing a wonderful job. Um, Let me. Oh, I can't praise him. Yeah, I'm just check up on him. Say, hey, dude, you okay? You doing okay? Everything okay? <laughs> I love this. I'm loving this too much, guys. Are you enjoying this? Welcome. I hope to hear you're having a great meal. Our chef has some serious culinary talent. Yeah, that's right. Hype up, hype him up, hype him up. Hi, I have your chicken nuggets and pasta. Oh, he ordered a pretzel and she ordered a grilled cheese. Perfect choice. Perfect. In a salad. Perfect choice, guys. Seriously, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I want to go ahead and oh, I want to give someone free dessert. I want to go ahead and give them some free dessert because um, you know, I'm motivated by my desire to stay employed. Hey, you know, a job is a job, and you want a job, and you want to keep your job. That's a, that's a perfect motivation. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking it. Shit, as long as you do your job. Um, you know what? I want to give you guys some free dessert. Looks like the kiddo over here is loving it. His three went to a four. Let me satisfy your sweet tooth and your wallet. Choose any of our desserts for free. Seriously, it is on me. I want you to feel welcome here at the Shrieking Llama Diner because I don't want to be a corporal anymore. Oh, let me work. Um, let me welcome them here. This is fun owning a restaurant. I feel like this is so family-esque. Uh, we're going to close soon. Uh, we're probably going to close at about 9 o'clock because, you know, we're just having so much fun. And I have these customers here. <laughs> Everyone's getting free dessert today. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's give them some. The restaurant recharge and cost the drinks. I don't know. We'll just welcome. We'll just welcome again. Oh, he's tired. He's like... All this walking around, I need a nap. Okay, we're gonna close soon. Okay, it's like nine, so let's go ahead and close. We'll clean up their stuff, like why not? I'll take that stuff for you, you know. I'm gonna help my waiter out, you know. I see it needs to be done, I'm gonna help him out. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed the food. This little lady over here, Elizabeth Green, um, she says the place has great prices, but her three has not gone to four yet, but it's okay. We're going to get there in time, but, um, yeah, it's okay. We're going to close the restaurant. So cost of ingredients, wages. Okay. All this red looks horrible, but you know, it's our first for, it's our relaunch. It's our relaunch of the restaurant. We have growth opportunities. Try training your chefs to level up their cooking skills um, try training your host. Okay, we're going to do that. We did that. Your restaurant's inviting decor makes it the talk of the town. Awesome. I was going to say the decor is lovely. Um, but yay, look at this. You know what? I, next time I'm going to put the focus on Zoe because I didn't really talk to her. I'm so sorry. We were only open for five hours, but it's okay. Um, thank you so much, guys, for coming. Oh, I didn't know if you closed. I thought it would at least keep the last customers. I should have. Oh, well. Okay. You guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for coming here to the Shriek and Llama Diner. And we are just cleaning up here. Look at him. He's cleaning all of this up. So lovely. Okay. Anything else needs to be done at the restaurant? I think not. Um, yes, I think we are done here. Let's turn this off. And we can just go ahead and head home now. You know, we made some some good money. We made some money. I know we didn't make a lot, but we literally didn't even have a lot of customers either. But that was fun. That was kind of fun. Like, I felt like I was really doing something. Oh, my God. This is going to be a long walk home. This is why we need cars. Look at this. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Come on. Look how long he has to walk. Just just to make it to the loading screen. You're almost there to the loading screen. Oh, my God. We're still going. There we go. It looks like Art is super duper tired. I think he's going to go ahead and hug his son and say, hey, buddy, get ready to go to bed. It's, it's late in here. Why isn't anyone following bedtime procedures? <laughs> um, I'm going to have him go to sleep. Honestly, I am having a lot of fun with his family. And I play with the Rowan household in Little Simsy Save. And I really, really enjoy that, too. But, um, wow, like I, I really, really like this a lot. It's so, so fun uh let's see we need to have baby girl sleeping in her bed she's not even tired what in the world but she needs to be in her room i'm having so much fun it's so odd is he in the pool he has been you are gonna be a prune paxton isn't that his name paxton pax get out the pool you yes go take a shower 
and go lay down like what in the world packs oh today was spooky day no i didn't even realize that this whole time i've been playing having a great day let me just make everyone does she care about spooky day i didn't even i like totally forgot it was spooky day i was wondering why i saw all of these like um <laughs> little things let's see and he wants the spooky day spirit. Well, you know what? Maybe next time. Because Ocean didn't really know much about the Giardzano family. And I just, you know, I just, I didn't know about you. So I was trying to get to know them. And I forgot that, you know, it was spooky day. And plus they had school. So, you know, we may have not had a fun spooky day. But that's okay. We'll just put everything away here. I really like this family. Like, I really, really like this family a lot. I think they're so cool. Uh, what does he need to do? He can use the bathroom and he can take a shower and sleep. I think we need to add more funk and flavor to Paxton's room, though. It looks kind of like bland. <laughs> there were all the rooms is look kind of bland. And Betsy's looks at least a little more. I don't know. But, you know, I kind of like that there's they're not cluttered with toys and things like that. I feel like maybe they like their family to their house to look a little clean, clean lines and stuff. Uh, let's change his diaper. Can we change your diaper? We need a potty too. We need a potty train him. But yeah, guys, that is all for the Giordano family. I really like them. This is just like a little taste tester, but I ended up having like a lot, a lot of fun. But if you enjoy this family, enjoy seeing this family, maybe I can play them again. I don't want to make any commitments like how I did with the Rowan family. I will still go back to that family and play. But these are just chill videos for anyone that doesn't want to want like an in-depth storyline and you just want to like go with the flow with things, jump in and just see simming. Because I'm that way too sometimes. I just want to see someone play. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you never ever miss a video you will see that ocean sims posts a new video because my schedule is kind of wonky i tell people that all the time but um yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video all right peace out y'all